I'm very excited. <laughs> our shed was a repo when they tried to repo it it had a full drywall and rooms built in it and so they tried to move it and it weighed so much that they put support straps down both sides to try to move it with that weight um but they weren't able to get it due to the weight through like this ravine that they had to go through so they ended up tearing out the insides anyway but all the straps did go on the outside and the T11 siding that is on our shed is really good um, for weatherproofing. You know, it's meant to be outside. This is what it's for, obviously. But if you get a little holes in it, anywhere you get a little hole that water can get into, it can actually get into the siding and cause it to swell and deteriorate over time. So we don't want that to happen. We do plan on residing the entire house in the future but it's nothing on the priority list but what is on the priority list is making sure the siding that we do have will last us several years at a minimum and so today we are going to work on getting all of the staples and nails that are in the siding getting those out and then going back through all of the screw holes from those support straps as well and filling them in so what I have here is OSI quad tougher than elements um, clocking and I got it in white because that we plan to paint the building white um, but we'll also be able to see just how many holes are in this building our shed is currently tan and so the white filler should show up quite well so I'm curious to see as I go over each side piece of siding how much we have to fill in I am NOT gonna really go between the boards yet because we are gonna paint this with a latex paint and then come back and add another layer of caulk over the paint. It helps hold it together better from what I've read, so that's what we're gonna give a try. Um, but there is lots of little holes in this T11 siding, so I guess we better get started. So these are some screw holes that were there from the support strap, so you can see that there is, it's just open to the raw wood inside and so if water got in there it would cause it to deteriorate. about getting it smooth and that is mainly because the texture on the T11 siding is not smooth so I want it to not really stand out. The white definitely stands out on the tan but uh, obviously it won't stand out once we paint the house white.
section of loose nails along the bottom here. There's a couple more right here. So I'm hitting in any along the way that are loose. Um, but what I realized when I made it to this one is that these along here were really loose and without like fully going over this building you don't really notice that you just they're just backed out a little bit um, and so when I nailed them back in they actually brought the whole piece of siding back in closer to the shed which is great um, but what I saw can you see that gap right here so this is where two pieces come together and while there were all those nail holes that I covered, those are not holding anything in. And so that is way too much play because water can definitely get between there and get into the house. So I'm gonna go see if we have any nails and I can go ahead and secure this nail. So this double two by four is right where those pieces come together. If you go to the side, you can actually see light. So water could absolutely find its way inside of there. We do not want to be seeing light through the siding. From inside? Like where? In the bucket inside? <laughs> bucket of nails, you know. <laughs> yeah, they're just a little fat for this. We need some skinnier nails. You're saying my nails won't work? I mean, they will. Because this seems to be kind of fun. An hour later, when you get one in. Sir! Ma'am? I put more than one in. what we got Get so all of these were to hold on the tarp that used to cover this window before the window existed
sun's going down a little bit, it's finally cooling off. And this is my favorite part because this is when you get to just stop and look around. It's so pretty. Like, enjoy yeah. the work. Enjoy everything. That's... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to enjoy the property now for about another half hour and then we're going to head on home. Can't wait to live here. Yeah, this will be home one day. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like this video and hit that subscribe button to help our channel grow and to watch us to continue to turn this 20 acres into a working farm homestead with our shed to home conversion. Bye guys. I'm standing on the edge of the field. So here's the field. And I came into the wood line a little bit and I'm looking across the valley that's behind our house and right there through the trees is where the cabin is. And so we hope for a lot of this underbrush to kind of um, die over time as the forest of trees grows up. A lot of the smaller stuff will die out and we should be able to see over to this field one day from our back porch.